What's up guys, I'm Ivan Calderon and welcome back to another video and today we are making a beat. So I've been wanting to make like a R&B inspired SZA style type beat, just something really slow and emotional. So that is what we're doing today. Now, by the way, I got a new lens. So if you guys can see a difference and you like it, definitely let me know down below, but let's jump right in. Okay, so as always, we have some drums pre-selected. So let's check them out. All right, here we go. Okay, I think we're done. So let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you started off with were the keys. Now the keys by themselves, uh, initially they just, I mean, they were straight chords. There were two chords actually, nothing crazy. And this is what I played. And that just kind of repeats over and over again. Um, that worked well in the beginning because I was just trying to just get a structure going. So after that, I kind of added a pad which had the same chords um, kind of layered on top of that. And that sounds like this. Just kind of adds, you know, that feel. I don't know. Now, at this point, I had a pretty good melody. So I just needed to kind of, you know, develop the drums. And the first thing that we had was the kick and the snare. And that sounds like this together. Next, we added a bit of a clap just to kind of fill in those gaps. And then a snap to kind of layer on top of the snare. Next, we added some hats just to kind of fill that in some more. And the first one was an open hat and that sounds like this. Then we added a closed hat, which was one of two. Now, what I did with this hat, it was actually quite interesting because I, I layered um, 16th notes of this hat, but I went into the, the editing kind of uh, window here and I brought down the velocity of every other hat to make it seem like it was a chug. Now, you can do this to kind of add more feeling, but together um, or with, with that added effect, that hat now sounds like this. 
that was starting to sound good, but I needed something else, something more prominent, kind of give it more of like that trap sprinkle. So I added a second hat. This hat has uh, rolls, which are we are you know we're pretty familiar with, but that sounds like this. Now what I'll probably do is I'll probably end up either playing with them in the mixing phase, maybe pan one you know right, one left, um, that kind of thing. So we're gonna see. But the last thing I added was a crash just to kind of again introduce the whole thing, and that sounds like this. Now at this point the beat was sounding really good, but I wanted to add just something extra because this is gonna be the hook. So I went back to the roads and I kind of added a little bit of a like a freestyle twinkle sparkle thing, and now the keys sound like this. So that was kind of fun. And then last but not least, of course, you can't have an R&B track with a nice bass sound. So I opted in for something more in your face, kind of grungy, which is that there. And then everything together sounds like this. But that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Now this beat will be available on my SoundCloud. I revived that thing a couple uh, days ago and I'll be posting the snippets of the beats that I make, so definitely check it out. I'm gonna link everything down in the description box. But again, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already, but I will see you guys on the next one.